What's up? We're gonna make armadillo eggs. I'm not in Texas, I'm in Arizona. So I'm gonna call them Havelina eggs. Grab yourself a fine beverage and come on back now, yeah? Okay, so let's get this on. Basically, super easy from what I've seen. Now, I've heard of these before, but a uh, buddy of mine on Facebook posted a, a thing about this with a recipe. I'm just gonna do it just by the recipe. I'm not gonna do anything fancy or different. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with a bell. We're gonna start off with some cream cheese. Get this in there. That much in there. Mm, taste tight. Then we want our bacon bits with one piece for me. And after that. Then we want the cheddar cheese. High class measurements here. Nothing but the best. We can add a little bit more if we need it. Get that mixed up. I'm just gonna kind of smash it all together. See how it works. Let's try something different. Maybe this will be easier. Let's get our hands in there. Really crunch it up. You know, all sorts of good and nasty. Oh yeah. That should work better. Now what we're gonna do, eat a little bit of it. Drink a little bit. Get those over here. Get this over here. Now let's stuff it up. These are just uh, Got the core out, dumped some of the seeds out. There's still some in there. I kind of like the heat, so I left some in. We're just going to stuff these nice and full. Get them down in there. Now, although it's messier using your hands, it's a lot nicer job. You can actually pick and get some good pieces of bacon and shove those down in there. Like so. Much quicker and easier than uh, trying to do it with a spoon or whatever. Yeah, it's messy, but isn't it fun getting dirty? <laughs> I like getting dirty. <coughs> Cat don't like when I get dirty. Right, sometimes she doesn't. Get it all in there. Nothing nasty like. Give it a good fingering. Like soap. Okay. Those look good. Another piece for the chef. And me. Now, let's finish this up. Let me go clean up my hands. My damn camera. All right, let's move on. Now we're gonna take some of our sausage. Get that opened up. Use whatever kind of sausage you want. The uh, recommendation or dude that made this recipe use breakfast sausage. So that's what I'm doing. I'll play this recipe next time. I do it a little bit more of my flavors. It's pretty obvious how it's gonna come out, but we'll check it out. Basically, grab yourself a good piece of sausage. Make as much as you want for the shell of your egg, if you will. And then we're just going to wrap it around there, like so. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool looking. All right. Nice. Groovy, man. There we go. There's one Havelina egg. Okay, what I ended up doing, taking some of the sausage off the first one, because I had a lot on there. You don't need quite as much. I figure a pound of sausage should go farther than four eggs. So we got them completely covered up so you can't see the jalapeno. Jalapeno. We're ready to go on the grill. So let's, uh, we got a good smoke going. We're going to hang it up right at about 250. I'm figuring about two and a half hours, but we'll see how it goes. So let's rock this open. Let's throw them on there. Boom! I've got an indirect heat. I've got the uh, heat flucker shield down. And that's what we're going to go with. So we'll be back. I did. Let's check them out. They've been in here for right at about an hour and a half. About hour 20. They are looking good. A little bit of the cheese kind of popping up there. That's all right. That is aight. Nice. Cut one in half here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, baby. 
you know you want some javelina eggs. So I taste them, but my face would fall off. It would be burnt and crispy. It would hurt. Obviously, this is gonna be good. So I'm gonna let it cool down, and I'm gonna eat me some. Y'all, take it easy, give it a shot. It's good stuff. Later.